Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we will list the Kardashians who are still friends with their exes. Let's get right into it. Khloe Kardashian and French Montana Despite the fact that Khloe's relationship with the rapper ended in 2014, Montana maintained a close relationship with the entire family. The musician told Hot Living, In 2019, me and Khloe are always going to be friends, and the family still remains close. He then added, I feel like we had a real dope relationship. There was no bad blood. Nobody did something to somebody that we couldn't come back from. The love was real. When the love was like that, it's always going to be like that. Friendship after a relationship is something that's real hard to do, and I'm glad we've been able to do it. Montana has been seen at many Kardashian family gatherings, including Courtney's 40th birthday celebration in September 2019. Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson while Chloe and Thompson's relationship ended on a sour note in February 2019, after he cheated on her for the second time, she made an effort to maintain good relations with him for the sake of their daughter, True. After publicly slamming the NBA player for his infidelities, Kim stepped up to befriend him. Kim said of Thompson in a deleted scene from season 18 of Keeping Up With The Kardashians in 2020, he's like honestly so nice. She then said, like he's really nice, he's really trying really hard, and it's been a full year of him as a different person. In March 2020, the Skims co-founder added on Twitter that she loves the athlete like a brother. While Thompson and Kardashian reunited in August 2020 during the coronavirus pandemic, they split up again in June 2021. Thompson confirmed he had cheated on Kardashian again in January 2022, having fathered a son with Marilee Nichols the month before. Courtney Kardashian and Eunice Benjima After two years of dating, Courtney and Benjima split in 2018, but they continued to spend time together. A source told us in April 2019, Courtney likes having Eunice around because they have great sexual chemistry and it's fun for her. The insider then added, She thinks he's young and hot and has a great body and she's in control of the situation. She has a much more refined approach to everything in her life in terms of business and taking care of her kids and co-parenting with Scott. He is aware that she doesn't want to deal with any craziness. After their breakup, the Poosh founder and Benjima were spotted at Disneyland, out in Miami and even at the Kardashian family Christmas party. Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles Kendall was first linked to the musician in late 2013 and was seen with him on a romantic trip to Anguilla in 2015. While their relationship ended, they remained close. An insider told us in December 2019 after the model appeared as one of Styles' guests when he hosted an episode of The Late Late Show with James Corden, Harry and Kendall are great friends and have always been. The insider then added, They don't get to spend a lot of time together, but when they do, they always have a blast. It's an easy, super chill friendship. Kendall Jenner and Ben Simmons In 2018, the model began an on-again, off-again relationship with the NBA player. Two years later, the twosome is still straddling the line between friends and dating. A source told us in February 2020, they both like having a no-strings-attached type of relationship with each other for the most part. The source then added, they both work and travel frequently and don't find it very realistic to be in an exclusive relationship with one another. They do really like each other though and love spending time together. Luca Sabat and Kourtney Kardashian Kendall maintained a friendship with Sabat despite Kourtney's brief relationship with the Instagram influencer in 2018. Jenner and Sabat attended the Long Champ show during New York Fashion Week in 2020, but they did not sit next to each other. The duo was also seen vacationing together in Monaco in May 2019. A source told us in February 2020, Kendall and Luca are friends and have been forever. The source then added, Luca is still so close with Kendall and her family, even after his fling with Courtney, and it's because he's such a fun, down to earth, cool guy. Scott Disick and Courtney Kardashian. Scott and Courtney will always be best known for their rocky relationship, but it doesn't stop Scott from building a good relationship with her family, especially with Khloe Kardashian. Anyone who has followed the Kardashians knows that Khloe Kardashian and Scott Disick have an unbreakable friendship. Kardashian and Disick first met in 2006, shortly after the Flip It Like Disick star started dating Kourtney Kardashian. Chloe, on the other hand, took her time getting to know the father of her niece Penelope and nephews Mason and Rain, whom he shares with her eldest sister. Chloe slapped Disick after accusing him of getting the Poosh founder pregnant with their oldest son, Mason, so he could not let anyone else have her on a 2009 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. They're closer than they've ever been, despite their ups and downs over the years. The cocktails with Chloe host wrote via Instagram on Disick's 36th birthday in May 2019, We have come such a long way, you and I. She then added, I am so thankful for the person that you have grown into. I am thankful for every one of the highs and lows, because we have been through it all and we are closer than ever. I am proud to say that you are my brother and also one of my best friends. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.